everyone, this is Simon from The Domain. I'm recording this video because I'm very concerned about Jazzware toys. They've, they've released too many sets, man. They're, they're too powerful. The Mantis, the Gun Goose, the Shade Turret, the AC Chief 3-pack, Spartan Collection, World of Halo. They have too much power. Oh no. They're here. But Simon, the 20th, 20th anniversary, anniversary is next month. Oh my god. <laughs> Hello once again, YouTube, and welcome back to The Domain. We are here today to celebrate yet another seriously cool Jazzware release. This has just been teased by Brian MCX on Instagram, and it seems like this company is ramping up for Halo's 20th anniversary in the perfect way possible, with a four-pack that celebrates everything that came before and everything in the future. So this just in, the 20th anniversary four-figure pack comes with Halo Infinite Master Chief and Grunt Conscript. We've seen them many times before and a Halo Combat Evolved Master Chief and Grunt Miner. This little Billy the Grunt looks so cool. Like, beautiful colors. Just the cutest little design, honestly. Like, Halo Combat Evolved Grunts were cute, okay? I'm saying that right now. They were some cute little boys. <laughs> wait, 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 cut it. If you guys know, Billy the Grunt has been the Domain's mascot for many years, and he's just so cool. Look at him. This guy was actually given to me by Halo Collector's Kevin Hurd. I've been working with him on a ton of projects recently, including HaloCollector.com coming soon. So let's run down exactly what figures are included in this, and then maybe we'll touch on the controversy that might surround this set in the future. First of all, we've got the Master Chief in lime green combat evolved style and dark green Halo Infinite. It seems like the dark green Halo Infinite has some battle damage on the chest as per usual. And then we've also got the two grunts, the grunt conscript, nothing new there, and this CE grunt. I mean, the colors are Perfect. I got my bag here of Mega Constructs Combat Evolved Grunts, and they're basically the same. And then they've kind of kept on using the same design for the Halo Infinite Grunts, because they are quite similar. They do look very different. Uh, the Combat Evolved, a little more puffy, uh, a little more cute, a little more like Teddy Bear-like. Like, honestly, he is really fun. He's got that classic, like, jutted out uh, methane pack that sort of spikes into the air. He comes with a plasma pistol that is colored correctly. This is just a really cool pack. I also really really dig how they've got the Halo Combat Evolved and Halo Infinite logos on the packaging, as well as the 20th anniversary. And it's also cool the little detail that they differentiate between Grunt Miner and Grunt Conscript, because it's a different between Covenant Ideals and Banish. The Master Chiefs come with two different kinds of assault rifles, which is a beautiful touch. The Combat Evolved design, which I know most people hold more dear to their heart, than I guess the Halo Infinite, which is more like a Halo Reach assault rifle, which I, uh, people really like. There's nothing wrong with that, but definitely what sparks uh, a little flutter in my heart is seeing that combat evolved assault rifle. That's really nice. I love, as always, the UNSC Intel style packaging. They've been using this with banished products as well, which has never made sense, but it definitely works on this one. And then the back of the packaging. Woo-wee! That's a nice image. You know, that is a really nice image. It seems like they could have stretched it a bit better to get the visors to line up, but this is such a nice image. Like, such a nice image. Combat evolved, Halo Infinite. Where we've come in 20 years, man. Like, I I didn't get into Halo until really Halo 3. I backtracked after that. But for people that have been with this for 20 years, which if you have been, leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear your story. But for people that have been with it for that long, to see this packaging, it must just be the most beautiful thing. It's beautiful for me, but I didn't, I didn't even play Combat Evolved when it released. So let's hear it for the OG players in the chat. All right, that's that's so dope. So let's, let's talk about how this might be a little bit controversial. Okay, so on June 17th on Twitter, Halo Game and Jazzware announced the Master Chief 2-pack, which comes with the exact same two Master Chiefs, exact same two assault rifles, but no grunts. And they said it was an exclusive for GameStop and EB Games Canada. Even, like, Duquesne 23 has pre-ordered it. And it's a little bit tongue-in-cheek that now, if you want that grunt, you have to buy the four-pack again. I mean, it is a bit weird because when this two-pack was announced, everyone reluctantly pre-ordered it, but they did say, guys, we have got a million infinite Master Chiefs. Like, if people enjoy collecting Jazzware, they have the World of Halo Series 1 and Series 2 Master Chiefs. They've got the Master Chief with Grapple Shot. They've got the Master Chief with the Brute Chieftain 2-pack, the Master Chief with the Marine. Like, there's a lot of Chiefs. So the fact that this Chief didn't even come with a Grapple Shot, people didn't really want to pre-order it. But they did for the Combat Evolved Chief. And now this looks like a slightly different colored Combat Evolved Chief. And now it comes with an exclusive grunt. So it's like, 
bro, <laughs> like, just let me buy one thing. I'm gonna get this four pack for sure. I need that Billy the Grunt. I've never needed a Jazzware figure more, to be honest. I can definitely see Tongue on Cheek. It might annoy a few people. So let me know in the comments down below, are you excited for this set? I'm gonna cover some more news now because this piece of news I didn't cover in the last video and people were in the comments saying, why didn't you talk about Spartan Yoroi? Yoroi, Yoroi, Yoroi. A couple of months ago now on social media, just after the Halo Infinite multiplayer tease, Jazzware announced that they were developing the Spartan Yori with this sick little production mold video. 3D design sculpt of this figure. He looks so badass. And I just wanted to share this little video with you guys. It's really exciting to see this Spartan coming and really exciting to see that Jazzware is just mm, mm, mm. They knew about this Spartan before it was even announced. You know what I mean? Or they ran up that 3D render really quickly. But that's coming to Jazzware World of Halo scale very soon. And if you guys didn't think Jazzware was chat enough, we've got the new Spartan 12 inch wave two figures, three Spartan, Spartan Veil, a Mark V B, really interesting choice, and the Master Chief. These are slightly less detailed because they're meant to be just like fun, cheap toys to go in the random toy aisles at at supermarkets and stuff. These don't have detailed weapons. Uh, the weapons are colorless, just an SMG, a commando rifle, and a shock rifle. The Spartans, they do look pretty detailed. They're not bad. We've got the Veil, who looks like she's got some nice details on her chest, if not a bit buff. And the Master Chief, as always, you know, folks need heroes. We need another Master Chief. Uh, this is just some basic three three 11 inch, three 12 inch figures, damn. I don't know why Veil is also produced right now. Maybe she'll be in Halo Infinite. I kind of feel like Osiris won't be at this point. I think Locke might have a, a death cameo. <sighs> Ooh. Ooh. But yeah, guys, that wraps it up for today's Jazzware news. This four pack, if not a little bit weird that we're re-releasing figures again, is really, really dope. I would actually keep that sealed, if not for the fact that I want to, you know, snuggle up to Billy the Grunt at night. Is that just me? The 13 inch, they look pretty great, as well as this Yoroi figure that I'm sure will get up to Infinite's launch and I'm sure will be a badass. Maybe it'll come with a really nice sort of samurai energy sword, we can hope. So this was another video with The Domain, guys. I hope you enjoyed it and always stick with me for your Halo collectible news. I'm gonna be working even closer to Halo Collector in the future to produce more high quality reviews and help launch halocollector.com, which this website's gonna change Halo collecting for forever. You have a great day. You stay awesome. You stay safe out there. Please do like this video if you enjoyed what you see, and we'll see you next time. Billy the Grunt is signing off. Bye, 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 bye.